I'm Bryce Fowler. I am working here at Condon High School in Condon, Oregon. Very small rural town. We've got 42 students in the high school and I think about 130 total in our town's school district. So we're just the one. The grade school and the high school together is kind of just everything. something that's actually that's good anyone want to elaborate on that further and so i am currently in the masters of science of education program with the focus on science education this year i'm teaching a freshman physics and a senior physics and then the computer science slash robotics slash we actually got to do some gaming concepts kind of game theory and uh, I have also helped with chemistry. I've kind of been co-teaching it with my mentor teacher. Um, I got a really good deal being here in the small town. They really want to bring in more teachers and so they were really willing to work with me on kind of finding a, finding a schedule for me that fit with OSU's schedule so that I was able to do both of them at the same time. So that's been really helpful. Trying to convince the opposing side that your side is the right answer, okay? Yeah, your stance right. is the right answer. So you need to convince them with everything you got, okay? Ready, go. Okay, so, so my parents still live in Hepner, Hepner and my dad's still teaching in Hepner. Um, and so I'll go back every once in a while. It's about a 15 minute drive. And I actually, when I first started teaching here, I commuted every day from Hepner because I hadn't found a place yet. It is kind of tough to find houses here to stay in. But once you find one, it's usually a pretty good deal. <laughs> is technology helping people or making them lazy? So please go ahead and write that for the topic. Everyone needs to write that for their topic. Front page. Um, I would say that like another benefit of living out here in a small town, the schools really want you. Like, like as a STEM teacher, everyone is probably going to want you. And I was able to get a lot of accommodations through a grant for my uh, tuition for the master's program. And so for people that aren't already in a bachelor's program that kind of segues you into a teaching license, for me, I had to go back and get my master's to get that teaching license. Master's is very expensive. And starting teachers don't make a ton of money. And so if someone's looking to save money, a lot of small schools can try to find ways to help you out, to kind of encourage you to stay. And also it's a lot cheaper to live out here. Like I pay very little for my rent and it's made the teacher's salary very livable. And so that's been really helpful for me just on a logistical level. There are a lot of fun, interesting dynamics in a small school. Everybody knows everybody and everyone can be kind of collectively having a great day. Sometimes they collectively don't have the greatest day. There can be kind of systemic funks that we get into here. Just because everyone knows each other so well, it's almost like a bunch of siblings at times. And I know for me, there have been tough days that as a new teacher, it can be really tough sometimes. And you can just be really out of it and just have a bad day but every day is a new day. And so you wake up and just take each day at a time and, and just kind of having that positive mindset, you have kind of have to set the bar for energy and just kind of appreciating that what happened yesterday was in the past, today's a new day, and let's have some fun with it. <laughs>